Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an adoption video. I just came up with this video idea in my head not too long ago and I'm like, maybe my audience would like to enjoy another adoption video. So today's video is going to be all about when you should tell your child they are adopted. I am not a licensed person to give advice, so take this with a grain of salt, but I can give my experience and my story and my perspective on the issue. This is kind of like for entertainment purposes, but also just a little bit of insight from an adoptee myself. So I guess without further ado, let's just get on into the video. Before we get into it though, real quick, make sure you're subscribed and also turn on your post notifications. Also follow me on Instagram because it would mean the absolute world to me. So cutting to the chase, when should you tell your child they are adopted? I think you should tell them as soon as possible. I was talking with a coworker not too long ago about like, oh, when did you find out you were adopted? And I was like, I have always known I was adopted. There was not a situation where like I was sat down and told like, honey, you are adopted, you know, like, or anything dramatic. So my mom, what she did was read this book to me called When You Were in China. And we touched a little bit more on this and show the book in my adoption story video. So if you wanna check that out, um, it's in my adoption playlist. But she just always read parts of that book to me um, at an age appropriate level, I guess. I don't really remember because I was still so young, but it was always a conversation. It was always like, um, in the forefront of my mind and it was never put on me like a surprise, which I think is horrible. Don't ever do that to your child. I think that's just not really fair to your child and it could cause like issues in the future for them. So I wouldn't do that. Again, it's your choice and if you want to handle the situation like that, then it, that's on you, but coming from an adoptee standpoint, I think I would wanna be like given the honest truth from the get-go rather than having to have that conversation because, because you don't know how people will react to certain news. Like maybe they won't care, but also like maybe they will care a lot. You kind of just have to read your child and like know them and you will be the best person to decide that, but still, I think honesty is always the best policy. Um, so if the kid is older though, when you adopt them, obviously they know they're adopted, but like have an open conversation, like to say, you know, and be supportive and just let them know that you're there to talk to them if they, you know, are curious about their birth parents or want to find their birth parents. My parents were very um, supportive when it came to like trying to find my birth parents if I wanted to, they were all on board for it. Um, I personally don't really care to meet my birth parents. I would like to see their picture just to know what they look like. Um, I think that would be really cool. But other than that, it's like, I really don't care because we don't speak the same language or share like any cultural or like religious beliefs probably. So there's not like anything, they just like, you know, donated, they just helped create this human form of me, which is great. Like, hey, thanks. But like, honestly, I don't have any deep seated need or feeling to meet them, but that doesn't go for everyone. Like some people really do want to meet their biological family and find out what they're like and everything. So I think as a adoptive parent, in my opinion, you should be supportive of your child finding their birth parents because it doesn't mean they'll love you any less. Well, unless you're like a dickhead, then the, they'll probably like not like you. But if you are like a loving family and everything, they will not love you any less. It's just, they're curious, like, come on, you can't deprive someone of wanting to know something. You know, like if you had a, you know, aunt that your mom stopped talking to, but you still were curious about that aunt, like she shouldn't deprive you of meeting that person. That doesn't mean you love your mother any less. So 
take it with a grain of salt and just know that it, they're just curious and it's not like they will love them more well maybe they might like i don't know again it's all individual but like in the grand scheme of things they're probably not going to choose the other people they, they barely know them or maybe they do know them again every situation is different but you just need to keep an open mind to what they might be going through or feeling or just their curiosity. So don't like take it so personally as an adoptive parent, but just be supportive and be there for them and listen to them. I, you know, always had the conversation like my parents were supportive and would always share to me like if you would like to meet your birth parents, like we would not be opposed to that. We would be totally supportive. And I couldn't thank them enough for that because that just, it lets me know as an adopted child that my parents aren't insecure with our relationship. You know, I feel like some parents aren't supportive because they have this fear of, oh, well, if, you know, the adopted child meets their biological family, like I'm kicked to the curb and I'm, you know, left to hang out to dry or whatever, but that's not the case at all. Um, again, every situation is different, but I promise you that's probably not the case. I also want to add my parents would always say it was really obvious that I was adopted too because we don't look alike, obviously. So I just thought that was funny and wanted to include it. Now, one thing that I will note to never say to an adopted child at all, like don't ever say this because it's horrible and... I don't know if this actually been said to anyone, but like, I don't know, it just like popped into my head. So this is one thing you should never say to your adopted child. Um, you know, sometimes in life you just need to just not say anything, kind of like, you know, don't ask, don't tell. Um, maybe if they do ask, maybe be honest, I don't know, but I'm just saying, in my shoes and if my parents like ever said this to me I don't know like I don't know how I'd feel and I think it would be kind of hurtful so never say this to your adopted child so the saying or what could be said to a child is well you know your dad and I tried to have children of our own of course wording it like that so like that's already annoying but we already tried to have children but we couldn't so we chose to adopt like that is the most, I don't know if this is the right terminology, but patronizing thing you can say to like an adopted child. Like don't say that, that's horrible. Um, it makes the adoptee feel like they're the last choice, you know, like, well, we wanted to have kids, but we couldn't have, you know, our biological kids. So we ended up with you. Um, it's just cold, you know, like I would never want to be told that. Luckily, you know, my, Sherry always wanted to adopt and I mean like two people of the same sex can't you know have a child biologically I mean obviously science but like you just don't know everyone's circumstances but I do know that I wouldn't want to be told that as a adopted child because the adopted child could just sit there and always picture what the biological daughter or son would have looked like of their parents and it's just so sad like why traumatize a child even more if they've like come from trauma or started off with trauma it just seems to make the whole situation worse and no nothing helps that situation i think it would only hurt um unless the family already has biological kids and they wanted to adopt because they wanted to adopt like that's perfectly fine and you could say yeah we we had you know sally and joe and we wanted to add to our family and we decided to adopt because we wanted to you know of course parents want to adopt but that's only after they couldn't biologically have a child, which I don't know how I feel about that because even though adopting a child is like, oh, so great, um, it really is. Like, obviously I wouldn't deny that, but adopting and telling the child like, oh, you are a second choice. That's just not okay to me because I mean, if I was told that I'm like, well, like they wanted me, but they didn't really, really want me. Cause I wasn't like, 
I don't know. I know every situation's different, but I just highly recommend you do not say that to your adopted child because it just hurts, you know? And think about how you might feel if you were told that. So that is one thing to probably not tell your adopted child. I highly recommend you tell your child they're adopted sooner than later because they're gonna find out eventually. And I know that sounds like kind of crazy to say, even if you look like them or whatever, but I personally believe they will eventually find out. So you might as well be the one to tell them so they hear it out of the horse's mouth rather than drunk Joe at a family gathering accidentally spill the beans because that would not be good. So honesty is always the best policy sooner than later, depending on the situation, you know, of course, but I just think it should be told very, very soon and you should show your love and support by being open and honest with your child. So I hope this video was helpful. I know it was kind of short, sweet, but I just thought I wanted to make this to help any parents out there that have adopted a child or just, you know, people curious about the subject. Um, so anyway, I think that's going to be about it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Leave in the comments if you want more adoption videos or what other topics you would like me to talk about. I'll see you next time. Bye.